as for MSF, we've we started to look at this from three different pillars, right? So depends on who, which parts of MSF, we might look at a very more environmental health issues or the larger planetary health. However we look at it, we look at it from the three pillars of operational adaptation, mitigation on our footprint or footprint mitigation, and advocacy, helping to give light and, and raise awareness to the issues, especially of the vulnerable populations we normally um, provide care for. So on operational adaptation, it's really being smarter at the way we, we, we um, do our emergency responses. So we put a lens, a climate lens, to understand better what are we facing and what are those issues that we will face. Assessing better the situation and anticipating so more predicted modeling so we can be more targeted in our response and more focused knowing that <laughs> there will be more and more crisis we need to be smarter and so this is one way we're trying to do it um, and the second and the footprint mitigation part is looking at how we actually respond in a, in a more physical way what are we doing to contribute negatively to the situation. So how can we improve on that? What is our carbon footprint? Can we do that better and cut emissions um, from our way of doing things? So measuring our carbon footprint so we know how to actually change it. The biggest bulk of a lot of those is from the supply. So can we be doing better forecasting so then of the supplies that we need to answer to the field? And can we do more cargo rather than flying it, for example? And using better materials that are more environmentally fr friendly. How do we manage our waste so we don't leave waste and cause harm to the environment? So those things are we're looking at. And how do we use energy, solar energy, and building more hybrid hospitals that, that actually uses um, sustainable energy? But then, as um, some people in MSF who was looking at this, it's also behavioral change because the best energy saving is the one you don't use. So being smarter and being more economical in the way we use energy, turning off the AC, turning off lights, little things like that to understand what is our behavior in the way we work. And finally, it's about speaking out and giving that voice to the, climate, to the population who are most vulnerable and giving them a platform to speak on the way they speak. More and more we see in our populations telling us that they've never experienced a situation like these these days. And so what it's important to actually give light to that and highlight that the most vulnerable are most gonna be most affected and are most affected today. And those climate hotspots are the humanitarian hotspots. And we need to unblind those blind spots and actually give more visibility to that. And that's the third pillar that we're doing.